Gus, was that simply just a bad day at the office? Yeah, I think that's probably the, the easiest way to describe it. Um, it was just really, really disappointing. Uh, to lose the goals that we did, um, just never gave ourselves a chance. We're reasonably happy with the way we started the game. And uh, when we lose the first goal, you know, you could see heads went down a little bit. Um, second goal, you know, close to half time. Uh, and there's there's not the reaction that we're looking for. Um, but when you lose goals like that, um, it just you know makes it practically impossible to win games of football. You know, and uh, it gave East Stirling a massive boost. You know, and, and gave them something to defend. And they played very well on the day, and, and certainly thoroughly deserved their victory. Do you think the scoreline's a bit harsh on your team after t- today's performance? None. No, no, not at all. I think uh, we can't have any complaints because of the errors that we make, you know, so no, we, we can't, you know, try and dampen that, we've just got to take it in the chin, um, it's very, very unlike us, by the standards that we have set in probably the last 18 months, um, but most importantly this season, you know, and from a defensive point of view, um, it's, it's way, way below them. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you're expecting a response for next week's trip to our growth then, yes? Yeah, like any game, you know, and any performance, if it's below the standards that you've set, um, you, you expect a reaction. Um, so that's what we expect. We've, we've had to put in a couple of younger players as well today, and I thought they were excellent. You know, Cameron Foy's come on and played the last 15, 20 minutes, never put a foot wrong, and young Liam Brown, you know, did well in the middle of the park, you know, and Liam's only 16, and uh, that's what we'll always try and do, is encourage that. We, we were short of players, you know, in, in certain areas today, you know, because of injuries and whatnot, but um, it's it's no excuse. We've got to make sure that um, if, you're, if you're not having a good game, you know, individually or collectively, you're making it as difficult for the opposition as you can. And that didn't happen today. It was far too easy for Easton. Just lastly, you kind of touched on their injuries. Any updates on players on the sidelines at the moment? Hey, well, we've obviously lost Kenny Mackay. Um, We've Tony Quinn's been a long term one as well, but uh, Ryan McGeever twisted his ankle in training. Um, Vinnie Berry, we would hope to maybe be back for next week, but we just need to wait and see. But 
Um, Craig McLeish was a, wasn't available for, through work commitments as well, so um, we have to just regroup, you know. And I think credit, I don't know, credit, but the players understand, you know, they're they're a conscientious group, you know. Uh, they know they didn't perform to the standards that they are capable of, and uh, you know, it'll be a chat with them on Tuesday and just make sure to remind them, you know, that the most important thing is they get a reaction in the next game.